the credit of invention of capacitor is given to two scientists, namely Evald George von Cleese, who was a German scientist, and Peter von Muschenbroek, who was a Dutch professor. Records show that it was first discovered by the German scientist, but a practical model was presented by the Dutch professor quite later. A capacitor is a system of two conductors separated by an insulator. The total charge of the capacitor is zero, while the conductors have charges Q and minus Q. The electric field in the region between the conductors is proportional to charge Q. Now what is capacitance? The ability of a capacitor to store energy is called capacitance and it is given by C equals to Q upon V, that is, charge per unit potential difference. It is measured in farads. Now that we know the capacitor consists of an insulator or a non-conducting dielectric, let's see what is its role. It is used to increase capacity of the capacitor to store charge. The materials used as dielectrics in a capacitor are mica, plastic film, glass, paper, ceramic, etc. Capacitance is independent of the charge and the potential difference of the capacitor. However, it depends majorly on two factors. First, geometric configuration of the capacitor which includes shape, size and separation between the two conductors and second, on the nature of the insulator or the dielectric. Now, for a small potential difference, a capacitor with large capacitance can hold large amount of charge. High potential difference implies strong electric field around the conductors. The strong electric field ionizes the air surrounding the capacitor which results in charged particles which get attracted to the oppositely charged conductors. Thus, resulting in the leakage of charged particles due to reduction of the insulating power of the dielectric medium. The maximum electric field that a dielectric medium can withstand without breakdown of its insulating property is called its dielectric strength. For air, it is about 3 into 10 raised to 6 volt per meter. Besides its use for storing energy, a capacitor is key element of most AC circuits and plays an important role. For practical applications, two or more capacitors are used in different combinations. In order to find the total capacitance of the arrangement of the capacitor, the equation Q equals to CV is used. There are majorly two types of capacitor combinations, parallel and series. Let's take up the parallel combination. In this case, the potential difference for all the capacitors included in the arrangement would be same whereas the charges are not equal. When capacitors are connected in parallel, the resultant capacitance is sum of their individual capacitance, that is, C equals to C1 plus C2 plus C3 and so on. For series combination of capacitors, the charges across the capacitors will be same, however, the potential difference will differ. Resultant capacitance of capacitors connected in series can be found by adding the reciprocal of their individual capacitance. That is, 1 upon C equals to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3 and so on. Thank you.